anything can happen here. It's tag team time once again, Grapple fans. 30 minutes of tag with this man, Big Daddy, the most charismatic figure in the wrestling world today. Shirley Crabtree against Fit Finley, Dave Fit Finley from Belfast, and his mentor and wife and manager, Princess Paula. There she is. More about their partners a little later on when we get a chance to look at them. Daddy, of course, with Steve Gray. And Dave Finley with Scrubber Daly on the right there. You can't find Finley. I don't know where he's disappeared to. Daddy is waiting in the center of the ring with the MC. Paula is waiting. Steve Gray is waiting, Daly is waiting, but no Dave Finley. He's halfway down the hall. He's on the way back to the dressing room here. Beefing to anybody who'll listen about something. Paula, going to, going to get him. <laughs> you come back to the ring, son, he says. And she's going to win. No, she's not. Oh, this I've never seen it like this. A man set to fight a tag contest coming to the ring and doesn't want to know for some reason. Facing Big Daddy at his height, I suppose, but Paula doesn't like the idea. He's going to chase him, see if she can get him back from the dressing room. Well, I don't know. In all the years that I've been at ringside of wrestling contests, I've never seen that before. <laughs> a wrestler billed to fight a tag team contest and doesn't want to know. Could we have one of the standby wrestlers down to the oh, ring, yes. please? Could we have one of the standby wrestlers down to the ring? The MC, of course, quite rightly, asking for a standby wrestler. And it's Lucky Gordon, who is one of the standbys. And we always, I must tell you, Grapple fans, on every wrestling session, we have a standby couple ready dressed and ready to go in case of injury or whatever. So Lucky Gordon Thank takes you, the ladies place and gentlemen. of Fit Finley. This is a 30-minute tag team contest, two falls. Two submissions or two knockouts will decide the winner. In the red corner, Red Scrabadali and Island's Lucky Gordon. In the blue corner, presenting Big Daddy and Classy Stevie Gray. Stevie Gray, Big Daddy's uh, very successful tag partner. Tremendous combination of size and skill here. But this is the main bout of the afternoon, of course. Gordon Pryor, the referee, the unfortunate fifth man in the ring, as he probably will be half the time. Steve Gray wearing a black elbow protector on his right arm. I've never seen that before. So it's Daddy Gray versus Daly and Lucky Gordon instead of Fit Finley. First session. And here we go for a 30-minute tag. Remember, two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, two disqualifications to decide the winners. And it's Daddy versus Big Man Daly, both about the 23 and a half stone mark. Two really enormous men trying the body checks on each other. And the hair. <laughs> but Lucky Gordon comes in against Daddy and wishes he hadn't. Ah, now those two are going to decide whether to come back in the ring against Big Daddy. Steve Gray in against Gordon. Lucky Gordon. Lucky Gordon from Era. Outside Dublin, but Gray from South East London, Peckham, the British lightweight champion, but he's giving away quite a bit of weight to Gordon, of course, here this afternoon. Oh, yes, Gordon in his usual black tights and full leotard. Trying everything but Gray's leg underneath there, and he's even thinking of a straight arm left on the man much heavier. Hell by the hair. But the two big men quite happy to stay on the tag ropes outside the ring. There's Daly on the right. 
Daddy right over the far corner on the left there. As the two lighter men get on with it. But how disappointing the fact that uh, oh, nothing against Lucky Gordon, an excellent wrestler from, from Ireland, from ERA. But we did expect to see Dave Fit Finley and Princess Paula take on Big Daddy with uh, their partner, Bailey. I've never seen, <laughs> never seen anything like a wrestler actually walking out of the ring after the introduction and refusing to go on with the boat. I'm very glad to say that the promoters always do have the waiting and ready standbys in case of emergency like this, and so Lucky Gordon was able to replace him. So Daly comes in against Gray. And public warning for continuing on his while his man is on the deck. First public warning to Scrubber Daly. And a backbreaker as Daly lifts Gray so easily. Tag. He's got Daly. And now Daly's going to think twice. In fact, he's getting out. Lucky Gordon coming in. Daly in. Gordon in. And Daly once more, but this time he takes Daly with him and the crisscross into the posting. Daly gets out. I think he's right. Counting the men out, counting them out. So, he better get in quickly. Gordon just in at nine. Gordon versus Gray. Steve Gray, the British lightweight champion. Oh, yes, perfectly fair for him. Um, but not that. Nicely lifted. Gray trying a posting in the corner and against his own man in the corner on the rope. So Daly comes in. And, of course, Daly comes in seeing Daly. Gordon goes very quickly out. In fact, Daly more or less clears the ring every time he gets in. So Gray waiting patiently for an opponent. This is the most extraordinary tag match I ever saw. One man walked back to the dressing room, now both is the other two that replaced him most of the time outside the ring. Nice folding press, and can Gray hold it? He's got it over Gordon. So in four minutes, 32 seconds of this 30-minute tag contest, Gray gets the first fall over Lucky Gordon. And ladies and gentlemen, the first fall of the contest goes to Stevie Gray and Big Daddy. So it's not always Big Daddy that gets the falls. Or the submissions. So with just five minutes of this tag contest going, 25 to go, let's go ahead with our second session. Second way, second session. With Steve Gray and Daddy, of course, leading by 1 and 0, and Daly trying to go ahead. But it's Gordon that's got to go ahead because he was the one that got the fall gained on him. Oh, straight to the gut, straight to the stomach, and the referee saw it. First public warning to Lucky Gordon. So one public warning each to this team on the right. And that's another one. Referee not sure of that one. Uh, that looks very dicey. Base of the spine drop. And a drop kick. Gray, much lighter than Gordon. Stone and a half at least. But doing very well. So Daly comes in the other side of Gray, and both of them go at this the lightweight. But so Daddy doesn't like it. So there are two fights going on in respective corners now, and it's difficult to know which one we can follow. Whoops! Uh... Oh, that's a great... Could be a double knockout, but to the same team here. Now, it's a public warning against Daddy. And Big Daddy receives his first public warning. For operating that uh, <laughs> curious seesaw movement there. Anyway... It, didn't, it, it wouldn't have counted, even if it got it. But Daly against Gray, the left now in the ring. One public warning against Big Daddy, one against Daly, one against Lucky Gordon. In 
fact, Gray is T. Gray. Is the only one who hasn't got a public warning yet. And a public warning daily again. Scrubber Daly receives second and final public warning. And that is his final public warning, as you heard Nigel, a timekeeper, say. Oops. Being held outside the ring. And Daly, with all his 23 and a half stone, goes straight into the lightweight. Yes. Crutch hold and slam, and the splash is coming. Yes, it is. All the way down, and must be the equaliser. In just seven minutes, 32 seconds. Daily over Gray. In seven minutes, 32 seconds, with the atomic splash, the equalizing fall to Red Scrabbit Alley and Island's lucky corner. Well, I like uh, Brian Cartry's this. Description of the splash as an atomic. So it probably is pretty near atomic when Daly lands on you. But Gray is the trouble here after receiving that splash. And he's got to continue against Daly. Second away, third and final session. And he's got to do it now as the bell goes and Gray very weakened. Daly was told to go out. He doesn't want to go out and leave Gray in that situation. Daly quite happy, of course. He can finish this little light lightweight off any time he likes, he thinks. He's going in close, Gray, to try and keep out of trouble. And can Gray get over to the far corner quickly enough to get a tag? He can, he's got it. How can Daddy get in? Because Daly will be in trouble if he does. Oh, the ring moving from backs and forwards across the floor here. <laughs> and a follow-up for And the splash. There's an atomic splash if you ever saw one. And the winning fall to Daddy in just nine minutes, 15 seconds of this 30-minute contest. Daddy gets the winning fall, two to one. Thank <laughs> you.